please this enrage another fellow YouTuber. And today, this will be our 12th update of our Lacey Snager Pony. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys, but that's that's just my style of making my videos, I guess. But yeah, let's let's get right on with the video. So this is actually the last update of our Lacius Nigel colony, and this is because once the cocoons finally turn into workers, straight away I'm going to put them into hibernation. And this is because since it's already November, they've lost one whole month of when they were supposed to be hibernating. As you can see, there are still workers foraging in the outworld, and this is mainly because of two main reasons, one being that I water their outworld weekly, and two because they have their Galileo liquid ant feeders from which they regularly get their honey from. There are now 9 to 10 cocoons left, and that is a huge drop then from the previous update. The egg batch has also decreased significantly, and slowly but surely they are all turning into larvae. So there are actually two somewhat hidden areas where the colony keeps their larvae, and one of those areas is behind the dead locust, and I didn't actually notice that area until filming. The second is a difficult to see part of the nest where there is a little overhang. Next to that overhang, there is a small bundle of larvae. If you're wondering what this may be, a worker, which I presume was a nanitic, died in that spot. And I'm wondering if the workers did that instead of putting it in the garbage pile, because this will be their first grave site. What confuses me the most is that this is actually the first worker that I've seen die, since I read on the internet that workers typically only live a couple of months. Does the colony tear apart the workers, then put them in the garbage pile? I don't know. Here you can see a closer look into the colony, and you can see the much more defined version of the queen, and her beautifully colored legs, and also her broad jaws, and right next to her is a newly enclosing larva that's trying to make its cocoon, and that is not a very good sign because I'm going to have to wait a couple more weeks until that cocoon turns into a worker, and I can finally hibernate my colony. What you are seeing now is pretty much the entire colony, minus any workers in the outworld or drinking from the nestmate. At around 115 workers, they are already starting to outgrow the formicarium, and after hibernation, I'm planning to move them into a new formicarium. When that day does come, I'll be sure to film the whole thing, so you better stick around. A few days have passed, and all the cocoons have turned into workers. Now that they're ready for hibernation, I place in a Galileo liquid amphitheater filled with water and another filled with honey. This is just in case they are still active or visit the outworld, and I'll be checking up on them every few weeks to make sure that they're doing okay. Oh yeah, and I finally cleaned out their outworld. And as you can see, this is all of their trash. So I put them into hibernation in the wine fridge, and as you can see there are three more colonies in there, and that is my Campanatus festinatus queen, my Dormrooks bicolor queen, and two of my Fedoli's Europhila queens. I set the temperature at 63 degrees Fahrenheit or around 17 degrees Celsius. If you think I should change the temperature, then please comment that down below since this is my first time hibernating my colonies. Well everyone, we've come to the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching this. Be sure to leave a like, comment, or even subscribe if you haven't already. And I've come to realize that having 230 plus subscribers is a huge audience and that there are a lot of people watching my videos. So I'll be putting more effort into my videos from now on. And yeah, thank you guys so much for the support over the couple of months that I've been on this YouTube channel. I first started out on my gaming channel. And if you haven't subscribed to that one already, go subscribe to it. This channel has already surpassed it. And I think two months so that is a very very big feat that i have accomplished and i just can't believe that has happened so thank you guys so much for watching this video again and my name is enderance another fellow ant youtuber and i'm signing off once again